Rain Man, Lucky Lance, you're ready for more. Ponza action, that's right. I'm ready for even more Ponza, I hope you are too. My name is Lance, that is my legal birth name, but perhaps more importantly, my screen name is Major Riot. That's Major underscore Riot underscore is conveniently right underneath my beard, if, from what you're seeing. Uh, maybe actually on my beard currently, I don't know. But uh, that is my screen name, and that's my screen name for <laughs> Twitch, YouTube, MTGO, and MTGA. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing. Either one would be great. You can subscribe on Twitch, too. I forgot about that, but, you know, that actually costs you money. So if you really like me that much, which, I wow, I'm really flattered, you can go ahead and subscribe, too. Um, <clears throat> so, obviously, I play Magic the Gathering. When I play Magic the Gathering, I enjoy playing Modern the most. I do play other formats, but only if I'm, like, got a lot of extra time I didn't plan on having, right? Where I'm like, oh, well, I got an extra two hours to kill, I don't feel like playing fucking some old video game. Let me try standard on Arena for two hours. Because everybody always lauds Arena. They always say, oh, Arena's so good, Arena's so good. It's got it's got music and pictures and the planeswalkers talk to you. I don't like any of that. Plus, standard's just not as good as modern. But when I do play modern, I play about five decks that I'm somewhat coherent with. And those five decks are Jund, Boros Burn, Humans, Grixis Death Shadow, and what you see right here, Ponza Gruel Midrange. Uh, Ponza Gruel Midrange is my favorite deck. Um, I can say that with confidence now. It's the deck I play the most. And uh, I just love it. It's play style. Uh, land Destruction is Tier 1 still. Um, Blood Moon, no one respects it. And Glorybringer and Questy Beast and Bloodbraid Elf are the high end of value, in my opinion. Um, without being absurdly broken, you know, like a Field of the Dead or something. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, let's take a look at the weather. I know everyone's always excited to hear about the weather for Ravensdale. Ravensdale's weather is, conditions are cloudy with a temperature of 48 degrees, the wind is blowing from the south at 3 miles per hour, and the current humidity is 77%. All right, right on. Right on. So today is Friday. Rebecca Black, you know, it's Friday. Friday. Gotta get down on Friday. I like reminding everyone of that. Do you remember that? It was like probably 10 years ago now. Was that before or after that Korean guy and the the song he did? I don't even remember the name of that song. It's like Gunkum Style or something. Um, I don't know which one came first. I'm not gonna look that up right now because I'm not really that interested, but I probably will when I'm really bored. Um, but I also just got paid yesterday, so that makes it extra special. Uh, Johnny Kemp I finally remember the guy's name. Johnny Kemp was the one who did uh, Friday night. Just got paid. Well, it's not Friday night yet. It's only 4.05 Pacific time. Maybe it's nighttime where you're at. Um, but, yeah. So, I hope you all got paid, too. Sometimes people say, I got paid in a different way, which I know what you're talking about there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that currency, too. Ha, <laughs> uh, ha! But, anyways, guys... Um, getting into this deck here, um, I am playing tomorrow, let everyone know, I am playing on Saturday, I will be playing at 3pm Pacific time for an extended Ponza stream of 3 hours in my normal 2 hours, and there will be a red dew. Won't be a 1 liter one, I'm trying to cut back, I'm getting a little older, I'm 31 and a half, need to start caring about my health a little bit here and there. So I won't be drinking a 1 liter red dew, but that doesn't make any sense as my friends are coming over tomorrow after I get done streaming, and we're going to... Drink beer, eat pizza, drink Mountain Dew, and open up packs of cards and play Magic. So, uh, health is kind of out the window tomorrow, I guess, but fuck it. Uh, Alright guys, so this league I'm currently 4-1 and one in, as you can see here. Or, excuse me, 3-1. and one. I'm trying to go 4-1. and one. Try and go 4-1. and one. I hope I can. Uh, be really awesome. I know I'm getting my money back at least, but let's try and get a little bit of profit, huh? Okay, let's play this fifth and final match of this league, and we'll jump into a new league. I uh, hope everyone is excited for the weekend. Hopefully you have it off. I know some people do work Saturdays and Sundays. I used to all the time. I used to work 19 days in a row, get two days off, then 19 back on, then two off. But I haven't had to work um, more than five days in a week, Monday through Friday, uh, in nearly two years. It's been almost two years since I had to do that, so it's been quite nice. 
And I'm guessing I won't have to work a Saturday or Sunday probably for another few more years. So I really like it. Some people really live their life on overtime, and I always just dread it. You know, I, I, I'm pretty good financially. Uh, I don't really need the extra money, but I'll take it when they force me to have it. And I just take that money and, you know, invest in the future. And uh, this here, this Ponza Magic the Gathering stream is not, um, you know, a job. It's just a hobby, and I don't ever plan on really making money off this. For those, those of you who are sub, though, I really appreciate it. I'm not saying that I do not appreciate money. I totally do. It's just that's not the, the goal here. I'm not like uh, some of the other streamers who need to stream to make money. Wow, look at this hand. Do I just keep this and hope that I can draw? I, I think this is just... It's tough to throw something like this away because you have so much ramp, but what else do you do, you know? The hell with it. I'm going to keep it. Here's the Mountain Dew. Nice 16-ounce bottle. Get this cracked open. Oh, hell yeah. God, that's good. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's I'm going to keep. I'm going to keep. I've been eating a little healthier, too. Just, the, you know, I really shouldn't be sharing this stuff with you guys. But, um, oh, I've uh, been eating Brussels sprouts lately, and they're pretty good, you know? And I've been trying to eat, like, uh, peanut butter sandwiches. Which I always thought peanut butter was kind of like bad for you. And then I looked into it and they said, no, peanut butter is actually good for you. You know, it has, it doesn't have saturated fat. Why did I play that first? Why did I play Utopia Sprawl? I got too excited talking about Brussels sprouts. Doesn't really matter. Who cares? No. All right. Mono red. So my uh, blood moons are dead. That's not a blood moon, so that's good. All right, there we go. I figured it out. I probably did that completely wrong, but whatever. Bolt in the Swift Spear. It's got mutagenic growth. That's fine. Make him waste that mutagenic growth on his own turn. I don't care. What do I care? Can I have Arbor Elf survive so I can play this uh, Glorybringer? Oh, it's blue-red. Okay. Yeah, Sprite Dragon. All right. can't exert on that. I gotta remember that. That's, I mean, you can, but it just won't do anything. So we're gonna have to exert onto the Monastery Swiss Spear. All right, let's kill that Swiss Spear. Yep. Uh, I did it automatically for me. It used to not do that. It used to actually let me pick Dragon. Huh. That's how I fucked up one time against this deck. I tried to exert onto a Sprite Dragon, and it actually let me. And, of course, nothing happened. See how messed up I get here. He plays a live of stage just straight up, so that's a good sign for me. He's got gut shot there. He could gut shot the Arbor Elf if he wants. I'm not really sure what good that does him. Um, besides get the uh, Sprite Dragon bigger. So we need to be aware of the fact, oh, I can bolt him, but I can't stomp it. I can pillage. That seems halfway decent. Uh, let's knock him off a blue source for sure. Uh, 
Let's hit that steam vents, I guess. And we'll try to swing here. If he gut shots it, he gut shots it, but. I'm actually winning this race barely somehow, but I ain't gonna last much longer probably. Opt, sure. See what he puts that. So maybe they'll opt was thought to be too powerful for modern once they said they were gonna put it in Ixalan. Put it on the bottom, that's good. And then people found out it was actually awesome and people really liked it and then they just reprinted it a million times, right? Granted, Throne of Eldraine. Well, no, it was Dominaria. Ixalan, Dominaria, Throne of Eldraine. And didn't they do it again sometime after that? I don't remember. Here's this stupid Stormwing. So I can exert still onto the Stormwing. Yep. He swings, huh? Maybe he's got another mutagenic growth. That's a really good draw. Okay, let's get rid of this big bird monster. That too. Just get this thing beyond a lightning bolt here. So there's one more creature I can eat. See if you can get this thing to 11 or kill me. So you put one on top with the Stormwing. This is a 5-5 five five now. Okay, another Stormwing. Yes. Another Stormwing indeed. So I hope I can top like a bull, the Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, Chandra, um, depends if he swings here or not, um, a Bloodbraid Elf, a Questing Beast, just if he swings here, we, there's more options for us. He does swing, okay. And he put one on the bottom, one on the top with that scry. That's not what I needed. So he has to block it here. Oh, there's no... We well, can't have mutagenic growth here. And then nothing I can do to stop this from coming in. Um, just gonna end my turn here and hope that somehow I can find a way out of this. Yep, he got it. Lava dart. game all right well we'll try harder this time uh so pillage is bad 
Blood Moon's pretty bad. Let's see what else I got to bring in. Obstinate Baloth, obviously. Anger of the Gods, yes. I guess Flame Slash can come in. <coughs> Is Relic any good here? I still kind of like having one Blood Moon. I mean, the moons aren't bad. Cut them off blue. You know? Arbor Elves are pretty bad, actually. I think that's what I need to cut. Oops. And then I can bring in... Bring in a Relic. I think Blood Moons are okay. They need blue to play the Stormwing and the Ops and stuff, so... I think that's okay. Okay, we'll go with that. Never found a bolt. I had a bolt there. I had a lot of outs, by the way. I says he swung. I could have found another glory bringer. Could have been questing beast. Could have been blood braid elf. Could have been uh, lightning bolt. Could have been just about anything. I'm going to keep this. So then I'm going to do Stomping Ground Tapped, Flame Slash, whatever. Right? Is that what I want to do? I think so. Klein7 is the opponent with the Oko Avatar. Oko, was it Thief of Crowns, I think it was? Probably tells me. Thief of Crowns, got it. The memory's still good, folks. Mountain Dew doesn't degrade your memory. Alcohol certainly can. I will be drinking some liquor tomorrow. There will be brown liquor, known as whiskey or bourbon, wherever you're from, or whatever they want to call it. Um, I will be drinking with my buddies tomorrow. Um... Don't know what the opponent's doing here. He's just hanging out. He starts with seven. Um, yeah, I think I can start with a tap stomping ground. Soul Scar Mage, all right. Really need to find a third land. Sprite Dragon. So I think maybe here. Very difficult decision. I really limit myself here by getting a stomp ground in case I pull a blood moon. So get a basic mountain. I guess I could get basic mountain. Woo! Get that clothes rolling. Top deck, the basic forest. You'll love to see it. Another sprite dragon. All right. Renin six. You like seeing that too. Um. Yeah, I'll eat my own lightning bolt here.
See if he's got a mutagenic growth or a gut shot. He does not. We're killing everything. I think here. No, I got a run in six now, so I can pick up the land and get another basic forest. And then we'll just drop the Bayloth as a gut shot to play a light up the stage. Yes. We can play a Stormwing Entity. You know it. We'll need that gut shot. Puts two on top, of course. Blood Moon, I guess we'll play that instead. See that bothers him at all, not having access to blue. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> yeah, this thing would be hurting here. That is a total of eight damage. Do you have a lightning bolt here? It's tense. No, he does not. Okay. So I assume here and then at me. I would assume I could be wrong. Okay, I was right. So now, now I think we just kill that Stormwing entity. So I want to eat. I want to eat my. I want to eat one of his lands to get a red. Oh, he did not kill my red and six. Okay. Interesting. Uh, yeah, let's keep plus in there. I'll attack, knock him down to six. So Ooze can, okay. So I was going to be able to play Ooze next turn. And then Stomping Ground, useless anyways. Let's go for it again. Yeah, I would have played Ooze, eight and a creature. With that Stomping Ground, I definitely would have played Season Pyro. Um, pretty good stuff there. Looks like Blood Moon hurt him enough. Again, not respecting the power of Blood Moon. The power of the exceptional strength, the crimson rays of mountain making blood moon. That's the meme, right? Whenever they display a powerful new land in previews for the next set, us Ponza players always say, I don't know what the big deal is. All I see is a mountain. You know it. Except for Field of Dead, we all get pissed off at it because. Feel that it's absolutely broken. All right, this is the game to try and go four and one in this league. Let's see if I can do it. Let's see. Is it possible? My wife and I got a, a Nintendo Switch, uh, full size Switch, not the little Switch Lite, but full size Switch. Yeah, I'll keep. And uh, the only problem is this is a windswept heath. It's a little rough. Okay, there's.
there's a basic mountain. Interestingly enough, neither player has mulliganed in any three of these games. He uses mutagenic growth, that's fine. Just waste that card on his own turn. That works for me. Nope. More land. If he wants to save it again. So I play this matchup, these prowess styles with these little creatures like Infect. I try to kill them either on my own turn or after combat. Not pre-combat, not during combat, but, you know, my turn or after combat. Because right now, yeah, he's just wasting these spells. I mean, they're good. I mean, that does damage to me there. Um, but, yeah, see, he's just... He's wasting all this prowess damage he could have just trying to save it. He doesn't even know that I have another removal spell. You know, so... I mean, that's fine. It's whatever. So little anger here. Play Blood Braid. Down to 13. Another Blood Braid. I'm going to go down to 12. It's a little dangerous, but I do want to thin the deck a little bit. See if he wants to save it this time. He can Lava Dart. That's one, and then he has to use another card from hand. All right. So he does have another burst lightning. Like, damn, dude. And a lightning bolt? Oh, fuck. But again, we're surviving all this prowess here. I'd be already be dead if it wasn't for trying to kill him on my own turn. Oh god, come on. I need a double red. So with that Lava Dart, he can knock me down to six, down to three. I think the game's over. So there's really not much I can do here. I guess I need to cascade into another Anger of the Gods. Yeah, Anger of the Gods, Lightning Bolt will do it because of that. Flame Slash would do it. Uh, let's see what we can get. Come on, Blood Braid. It's not going to do it. It's the end of the game. That's the end of the game, folks. God damn. That, that Soul Scar Maze survived a, a Flame Slash, a Lightning Bolt, and an Anger of the Gods. That's ridiculous. Yeah. All right, three and two. Could not go the four and one. Couldn't do it. Um, just could not get it done. Just could not do it there.
just couldn't do it. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. I'm Whoa, what the fuck? What's going on here? Why did it do that? Why did it uh why did um change it to Grixis Death Shadow? No, I want to play Ponza. What the fuck? Why? There we go. It tried to trick me. It did. It tried to trick me. All right, three and two there. I just, I mean, the guy, I mean, he had every possible way to kill that Soul Scar Mage. Every possible way. I tried to kill it three times, three turns in a row, and he saved it every fucking time. Like, that's nuts. That's logistically an insanely lucky thing. Like, the thing about how he had to use two instant spells every single one of my turns to try and keep it alive, and he did it. Uh, I'll mulligan that. I'll keep this. Toss away the redundant blood braid. Also mulligans to six. See what I'm pillaging probably next turn. Oh, good. It's Tron. Get to kill that right away. Whoa. I want to get a stomping ground. Alright, here you go. That's why we have pillage in the main, folks. Oh! And then Blood Raid Elf next turn. Come on, Blood Raid! Sure. Scavenging is one of my worst cards. Probably is the worst card against Tron. <laughs> Legit, legit. Oh, he's got a dismember, sure. Did more damage than the Blood Raid Elf would have done, but in the long run, that may save him damage. Chalice of the Void on zero. What is that about? All right, swinging for one. So I got one mana currently. What is Blue Tron? What the fuck? That's quality. Can't go wrong with that, folks. Oh, yeah, you definitely can't go wrong with that. Oh, my God. Well, they brought it back. They brought back Attack with All Creatures. It was gone on Wednesday when I last played. Yeah, let's see what he's got. Are you dead? You're dead. Okay, so uh, scavenging ooze and bone crusher giant both come out. Cinder vines comes in, and so does the collector ooze. Very simple sighting. Um, I don't know for sure if this is blue tron because he only played three lands. Talaria West is not even an island, so boil wouldn't even work against it. So. We'll go with that. Pretty pretty nice start there. Uh, for Ponza against Tron. Telling you, Pillage is strong. People need to play in the main. 
I don't even know what I was up against. I said, keep, and I said, I'm going to pillage whatever shows up. Whatever land it is, since it's my, unless I top deck something else, that was going to be the play. Mulligan here, nothing to do. Can't rely on these Arbor Elves in the basic forest. Uh, this is still too bad. We're going to four. We're keeping... <laughs> I guess just go for the Blood Moon here. I mean, that that is the goal there. It's like we switch decks. Now I'm running Tron, right? Mulligan down to fucking four. All right, let's see if he's got an answer for Blood Moon. If he plays an island, that means he probably has Reman, but that's fine. We'll keep trying to cast it. There is island. Let's get remanded. You better believe it. Uh, let's see here. How much mana do I have? I guess we'll say yes. Okay. He's going to thirst for knowledge here. Draw three cards and discard unless you discard an artifact. He did. Discard Mind Slaver. So Blood Moon is good. Also cast this Arbor Elf. And we're looking okay here. No guarantee. The fuck? Some sort of dampness on the keyboard. Oh man, he had the Tron. Ballista on two. Okay. Makes sense. Pillage. Let's hit that basic island. Force negation. No, we did not have it. Now well, I can make it a 2 2 now. Absolutely. Hopefully I can draw some action. You know, Blood Raid Elf be nice. You know, just about anything here. That's some action. I appreciate that. Thank you, Dak. Let's see what else we get. That is pretty nice. That's some quality shit. Thank you, Dak. Being extra generous right now. eating some shit I'll tell you that much not literally shit we'll be eating some some stuff uh, let's get that mind slaver swing in for six it's a two-turn clock now I think he can't find an island very good for me. I think I'm gonna hold this bolt. It doesn't change anything on the clock as far as I can tell. I'm probably wrong though. Eat the remand. Swing in for six. I'm so glad they brought that back tech with all creatures. It's like, fuck yeah. Still hold the bolt. All right. Nice easy win there. 
Take that, Blue Tron. Take that. You know you deserve that, Blue Tron. Think you're all smart, not being Green Tron. Like, who do you think you are? Everybody knows Green Tron is better than Blue Tron. I learned how to defend myself against uh, geese today. It was very strange instructional defense thing that my work showed me today in case of when geese attack. I was like sitting there and it was pretty good. I have it somewhere. They gave me a piece of paper on it and uh, I, I studied it a lot today. I really did. I read that paper thoroughly reading about how to defend myself from geese. And it turns out if an angry goose approaches you, do not turn your back and run away and look scared. Make direct eye contact with it. Let it know. Geese have really good vision, I guess, and they can sense when you're frightened. So if you stare back at it and you don't look scared, it knows that you're, uh, you're a worthy adversary, basically, and you're willing to accept a challenge. Um, <laughs> and then it said, like, slowly approach the goose. Um... If it tries to fly at you, uh, just punch it in the chest. Or if you feel good enough with your wrestling capabilities, grab it out of midair and take it to the ground. Uh, we obviously keep this. It's fucking awesome. I'll fetch her a basic forest here. I got so many lands, I don't want to be drawing anymore. Top deck of Blood Braid Elf with Arbor Elf surviving. Tribe Scout. Um, what to do here? I guess we set him back a land. As dumb as it looks. Give me a little bigger. That's fine. Five mana. This tapped. Make sure to exert on this Sakura Tribe Scout. A land he's bringing in, Garen Brig, okay. Probably should have fetched, but what do I know? I, uh, so he just needs one more land next turn, and he has Primeval Titan? So that kind of sucks. I guess I shouldn't have gone off that basic forest. Um, but we'll hit him there. Swing for one. I'm out of 10. Worst noob ever. So yeah, here comes the uh, Titan. Some real old Valica here. Yep. It's amazing how fucking good this deck is. Amazing.
that was a misclick. Well, it doesn't really matter because I keep drawing lands. Okay. Um Yeah, let's just fly over him. I'm down to five. He'll probably get a radiant fountain. Should be the end of the game. Guess the dryad. It's over. Should be. Every land that comes in is a mountain. So. Just dead as hell. Double burn on the uh, glory bringer, probably, just to make sure I can't win. All of it at me? Is that enough to kill? Five, seven. Yeah, it is. It's exactly enough to kill. Fuck. It's exactly enough. There's no way... I mean, I thought about sending the Arbor Elf to see if he blocked it, but there's no way he'd do that. Just no way in hell. Just not happening. Just the answer is no. Five, seven. Wait, 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 wait. What? He must have another mountain. Yeah, he hasn't played a single land, so he's obviously got it. Says five knocks me to two, kills my Ren, uh, and then plays a land for game. If I would have blocked this, what good would that have done me? Not much. There it is. All right. I don't know why I did that to begin with. Like, why, dude? Why waste my fucking time? So, I like taking out the clothes and the scavenging news in this matchup. I like bringing in Cinder Vines and Boil. Uh, bring in a Flame Slash. Is there anything else maybe I should bring in? Bring in the second Flame Slash. Eh, not really. Not I really want to take out. I think that's okay. So yeah, I should have killed the... Uh, I need to save the pillages for the more important lands. It shouldn't be blowing up forest, you know. That might be a good idea, you know. Um, so 1-1 one one today. 0-1 oh in this match so far against classic Amulet Titan, it looks like. Um... Trying our best here. 
Well, cinder vines and boil are going to hold down the fort, hopefully, against that dryad. The flame slash is just specifically for the dryad. has four toughness. That's just to be the same with the dryad. Like, I would not be nearly as mad at the dryad at Illusion Grove if it only had three toughness. Since it has four, it's ridiculous. Like, you got to be kidding me. Survives a fucking bolt. At three mana? How about no? How about illegal as hell? Uh, yeah, I'm willing to keep. It's a little slow, but I'm willing to do it. You know? Just... It's got everything we need. We got we got Blood Moon and Cinder Vines and Pillage and a Seasoned Pyro to refuel the hand if necessary. Um, so I, 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 I can't toss away something like this. You know, some people probably would, but I think that's a mistake. You know, I mean, you got everything you need. It's pretty rare that Amulet Titan kills you on turn two or three. It can't happen. I'm willing to take the risk. I'm willing to. I'm a risk taker. I believe in freedom. That's weird. He pays, pays three life, but doesn't do anything with it. Why? That's a good one. Cinderine is excellent, not only blowing up the amulet, but also taking care of the dryad. So it's kind of interesting. It's like, do I want to save the cinder vines? For the Dryad, I think the answer is yes. I also have the Pillage that can take out the Amulet Vigor. But right now, the Amulet's not a problem. I think we need to get a threat on the field. So I'm going to uh, play Season Pyro and ditch the Stomping Ground and the Flame Slash. Find a boil, okay. Okay. Pretty slow clock I got, but I think now I'll play Season Pyro Edition Arbor Elf and Pillage. Right? Get another pillage, okay. Works for me. See if he has runs Anger of the Gods. That'd be pretty intense here. Yep. There it be. All right, we're going to go for the old boil here. I 
All right, yep, the instant scoop, that's what you like seeing. All right, let's try it again. I just got really good draws there. You know, that's a game where you have a slow start, but it's the perfect start. Unless the opponent has an even more perfect start. That time he did not. Uh, it's just it worked out really well. Cinder Vines kept him in check the entire time. I could destroy either the uh, Aether Vial, not Aether Vial, Amulet. Yeah, this is fine. Nothing wrong here. Such a hope that the Bloodbraid Elf can find something on turn two. If Arbor Elf is lucky enough to live that long. Usually these Valakut style decks, you know, have lightning bolts. So, but they're mostly a green deck. Well, I shouldn't say that. That's not true. All right. He's got a decent start here. Excuse me. I apologize for sneezing. I do sneeze a lot. Something always wrong with my sinuses. Ear, nose, and throat doctors find me to be an interesting case. Like, why was this man born with such bad ear, nose, and throat? Mostly nose and ear. Mostly nose, though. I don't like that. I do like that. All right, let's see here. Um, I think we just want to play the Blood Moon right fucking now. Yeah. Get another basic forest. Okay, does he bring in a basic? No, okay. See, he's got the Dryad. That's another stupid thing. Dryad's only one green. Oh yeah, you know, Guano. What are you doing here? Guano Maestro, hello. Glad you're here. I didn't mean to sound abrasive there. I'm just glad you're here. Um, so... Excavator. So let's go for um, obviously Blood Braid here. Not quite enough to play both. No, I can play Chandra and Blood Braid. What am I looking at here? Yeah. Let's play them both. Yes, Chandra into BBE. BBE. That's what I'm talking about. That's mana efficiency there. Sure, another one. Why not? All right, let's swing here. Put a clock on him. He needs another source of green to get that uh, Titan. He's probably holding on to a Titan right now. Pull the Chandra, that's fine. Let's see what Chandra's got cooking. Pillage? Oh, fuck yeah. That's nuts. <laughs> Take that. All right. Yeah, maybe so. I'm not good at that kind of stuff. Yeah, let's kill. Let's kill the rampant app or whatever it is. Swing with both. Yeah, I mean, you're right. I think there was some stop me from doing that. If I if I would have done that, I would have not been able to play.
play the Arbor Elf at the same time? I don't know. All right, there we go. We got him. Whoa. All right, 2-0 oh in this league. How are things going down in uh, San Diego? Right, that's where you're from, right? San Diego or is it San Francisco? It's something like that. Santa Monica. Oakland. I know it's not Oakland. Uh, sounds like you guys, it's illegal for you guys to also have Thanksgiving. You know, Governor Newsom, I think, is yours. Mine's Jay Inslee. Uh, they got that weird West Coast pack, you know, Washington, Oregon, California. I don't know why they haven't just merged into one goddamn state, like for real. And like, I know they're still trying to split Washington and Oregon. Yeah, San Diego from San Francisco, okay. He says I'm going first, first time all day. Yep, nothing wrong there. Uh, let's get Basic Forest onto a sprawl. Or sprawl onto a forest. Yeah, San Diego's got that one, uh, that ship. Uh, they got like a naval base there, and they have that ship there where all those guys died in the 80s where it accidentally, like, somebody fired it and it wasn't supposed to be fired. It was something crazy. Do I just put a threat out here? Do I just put bone, bone crusher? I think so. I like that idea. I've read about that. That's why I know it's docked there in San Diego. No idea what I'm up against so far. Flooded strand could mean anything. Easier for my viewers. I guess. Like so. Yeah, but that's kind of annoying for me. Uh, what do you get a triome? So this is some sort of Omnath, it looks like. Whew, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, I'll just do Blood Braid here. Put the heat on. Come on, Blood Braid. Pillage, you got it. Always go after the basics. That's what I do usually. That did mess me up a little bit. Against that last amulet titan. Targeting pillage, okay. Yeah, I remember that too. I remember that being on live TV. But the, the thing with the, the ship exploding uh, it happened before I was born, like 87 or something. But yeah, I remember the tank. It's just lucky that guy didn't kill anybody. You know, he was just driving. Drove through that mobile home. That was pretty intense. That RV just shredded that fucker. Nothing. This guy might be in trouble. All right, let's swing and then try Blood Moon. Grow Spiral. Come oh, on, put it on basic on the field. Aw, oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Probably going for a Path to Exile here. Going this one. Gonna take two damage. Nice. Yes. Oh, really? I didn't know about the airplane crashing on people. That's sad. <laughs> damn. Alright, so he still needs green mana for either Uro or Omnath. So if he plays a basic forest here, Sad Panda. Sad Panda. The fuck? Um, who came up with that? Who came up with Sad fucking Panda? Alright. Yeah, we'll just do it that way. Alright. There we go. Omnath. Takes a beat in game one. Okay, so. Relic of Regenitus is good, because I'm sure they have Uro. Flame Slash is also good. 
Is boil any good? A lot of times I found boil will not be too great. Cinder vines isn't bad. I do like cinder vines in this matchup just because the games go so long. Um, Utopia sprawl is bad because the game goes so long. All right, take out questing beast. Bone crusher giant any good? He was doing some work. 4-3 on turn 2 is serious. Clothus is okay. Let me take one of those out and a bone crusher. Yeah, I'll go with that. I think I might be the only person in the world that... Uh, play center vines here but I like it the Mulgans to six I keep here good hand Mulgans to five okay gotta keep this flame slash for that stupid ass Omnath But, uh, yeah, it was pretty intense learning about, I mean, I shouldn't say intense, but that was pretty fun learning about how to defend yourself against geese. I don't know. They, they had two guys get hurt by geese recently, I guess. One guy fell down some stairs because he was staring at the goose. And another guy, he punched the goose and uh, injured some tendons, you know. he I mean, both, both guys did the right thing, according to the training I got today. Don't. Don't turn your back on the goose. Make direct eye contact with it at all times. Um, and the other guy, you know, when it takes when it flies at your face, that's when you wind back and, you know, do a fast jab to its chest. And if you're really good at wrestling, oh please, Lord, let this blood moon resolve. Yeah, should I get stomping ground or mountain? I'm gonna get stomping ground. I don't care about the two damage. Fuck it. And I drew Clothis. Nice. Force of negation. All right, look at that. Turn two victory. Turn two, baby. Three and oh. Three and oh so far in this league. Uh, but yeah, the goose thing, man, it was pretty crazy. I gotta go find that paper. It's somewhere. Um, but, you know, if you are, if you know what you're doing and you feel confident in your wrestling abilities, they said to go ahead and pluck it out of the sky. You know, you grab it, you just wrestle the thing to the ground. Just take it to the ground was their actual wording. I remember that. Take it to the ground. And they showed us a couple videos about people being attacked by geese. And, you know, nobody got hurt. You know, it's just a nuisance. You know, you're trying to walk from, you know, your car to uh, somewhere, and these geese, mean ass Canadian geese, start pecking at you. I don't know if you have them in California. That might be too south for them in San Diego. What is that? A Nara Wolved Familiar Treasure. What? Sure, I'll keep this. Lures of the Dream Den. This is either Jund or... No. No, it's not. What the fuck? Do I fetch here? I don't think so. Uh, planes? It's just like, what am I up against here? Something sinister makes my blood moon just not even fucking work. 
Now I can't even stop the lures from coming in. Back. Get batter skull so I can pillage it, please. Colossal hammer. Okay, that's what we're up against. So unfortunately, I cannot kill that quick enough unless I drew a bolt, and of course I don't. Um, I guess now we do fetch. Play Blood Moon anyways, even though it's not doing a damn thing. Draw a card. Okay, I'm gonna kill that hammer. Even though it doesn't really matter, he's got the Lurus. That's good. That's very good. Taking a little beating here from the little creatures. Oh my god. <laughs> Definitely signing out the Blood Moon here. Doing absolutely nothing. Had to bring in Cinder Vines and Oofy to replace it. Probably anger the gods too. Hammer. Yep, I take four. I'm down to twelve. Let's see if I can figure out how to do this. So he gets one more. One more artifact. Path to exile that? Okay. Damn, that is an angry man. There's a lot of damage suddenly. Five. Don't really see a reason to bolt here. Simply because I mean, I'm going to have to eventually if I don't draw anything. It's Lurus. Ugh, jeez. All right, I mean, I might just have to bolt something here now. Just a sad performance from the deck. Oh, I see. He just wins automatically. I, I fucked that up. Now, I, now he's got metal craft. So, yep, I messed up there. Let's concede. I didn't even think about that. It didn't really matter. I mean, what was I going to draw next? Another land. So, yeah, this game was lost. Remember, if I, even if I would have hit that in response, I would have drew a land. He would have brought it back. You know. Okay, so Blood Moon, you got to leave. You absolutely suck here. You guys got to come in. Uh, Relic of Regenit is probably good as well. Anger of the Gods probably good as well. Now, is it worth bringing this much crap in? I mean, for real. 
Is it worth this much? Because I gotta take a lot of stuff out. I gotta take out another five cards. Pillage is obviously good. Ren and six I like. Glorybringer can be good. I guess I could take out Clothis and Scavenging Ooze. Even though Scavenging Ooze is amazing here. Bonecrusher Giant's also very good. <sighs> and I don't like losing a creature. Maybe. <sighs> what the fuck? We'll go with it. I don't like it, but we'll try it. I got 20, 20, 20. <laughs> 20 creatures, 20 lands, 20 other. No, I'm not a fan of that. Uh, fuck, I mean, it's terrible, but I'll keep it. Put the mountain on the bottom. Come on, some good. Path to Exile me. So he liked what he saw. So we'll say yes. See what I draw now. Another forest that's horribly bad. Get a stomping ground here. That did speed up, though, my uh, Glorybringer, potentially. Seven cards in the opponent's hand. So many planes, dude. So many fucking planes. Ugh, no. Can I stop drawing lands? I mean, holy shit, dude. So I guess we just want to exert onto this thing? I mean, as crazy as that sounds. I reckon. Wow, what the fuck? Wow. So I guess that was really bad. Well, we didn't have another one of those. Folks, you just can't win sometimes. You know, they have everything and their mom ready. Uh, they just automatically, wow, he even had another one. He had three. So, yeah, no matter what I'd done that game, I'd lost.
Uh, just impossible to win this game. Just literally impossible to win. So um, we tried. It didn't do anything. The deck did nothing that game. Look at how many cards on my deck. Ten. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six lands. Am I looking at that right? Yeah, six lands out of ten out of ten cards. So that's just pathetic. You're not going to be able to do that. All right, guys. Let's see if I can finish this league here. Also four and one. Finish the last league. Trying to go four and one. Went three and two. This time it's another chance to go four and one. Right? Yes. Yes. I can still try and go four and one here. Just no shot in hell in that game. Just none. He had everything. He had three colossal hammers. The enchantment lets him play him at flash. Uh, zero mana Memnite. You weren't going to beat that guy. Like, period. Like, you're not supposed to win those type of games when the opponent has everything, you know. But, hope everyone's enjoying that. If you enjoy seeing my ask it slam, that was a good match for you. You must have really been just in, in just enthused with joy. Uh, watch me get hit by triple colossal hammer. Just rough. Very rough. <laughs> it's funny how people play decks like that, you know? They want to play hammer time. Now, what caused someone to want to play that, I wonder? You know, I'm sure they think about me, like, why are you playing Ponza? Well, I like uh, the colors. I like uh, the creatures. I mean, everything here is kind of like, it's just Jund without black. I mean, really, it kind of is. Pretty land heavy, but we'll keep. Horizon Canopy, is this humans? Looks like it. Fuck, I draw a lot of force. All right, please do not have Thalia's Lieutenant here. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> All you can do is make a little disgusted grunt. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, the better one, too, champion. That's the one that's going to hurt me. Draws a card already. All right. So I think we play Blood Moon. Like right now. I could play Chandra. This could be an opportunity, because he can get up to two and then three. Maybe I just need to kill this champion while he's still small. Maybe that's better. Yeah, because if he goes, if he turns, this is just four, right? Yeah, so if he goes, brings in uh, another champion, two, and then he plays something, yeah, so let's just do Blood Moon. Looks like he has nothing to play here. Should I just swing? 
Man, what the fuck? Looks like he's just done for the turn. Okay. Uh, is Lieutenant coming in? No? Okay. All right. So we can't win the game here. That was actually really dumb of me. I almost messed up there. But thank God I had this basic mountain. Crazy. Pillage. Doing your job. Main decked. A lot of people aren't main decking the pillages no more, but I love it. I love it. Sure. All right, we're taking a little bit of beating here. Do I just block this one? I have five mana. I'll block it this time and keep the Chandra alive, hopefully. Oh, I get the basic planes. What the fuck? No. All right, he just gives up. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, normally I do take pillage out. I do like doing that. Taking the pillages out in a blood moon. And then, uh,. Bring in an anger and oofy. Something like that. I think that's reasonable. Some people like the flame slash. Not me, that's a mulligan. That's no good. That's better. Old uh, glory bringer on the bottom. Another aether vial. Hopefully, can find a collector oof. Collector oof is significantly better than pillage because they can draw multiples of these, and it doesn't matter if oofs on the field, and they, none of them work. Okay. Ah, so many lands. Go like so. And then try to play Chandra next turn. Another Noble. Okay. That's double exalted for something. Hopefully not a Mantis Rider. Thalia, Guardian of Thraven would be pretty good here. Would delay my Chandra from coming down. Draws a card already, sure. I've had this problem with humans before. Have all four horizon canopies and just take a shit ton of damage. Another hierarch? Okay. Yeah, triple exalted. That's a big hierarch. That's a three fucking four. I gotta take it. Clothes. I'm gonna discard that. 
let's get a uh, Let's toss the uh, Clothis and the Windswept Heath. It's pretty good. I'll eat now. Get a life back. Can't have Kudro yet. Dismember. I did not see that coming, but very good. So Blood Moon is actually quite weak now because of all these Hierarchs. So, oh, probably gonna name Lightning Bolt. Anger of the Gods, okay. So only got two cards in hand even though, we're going up, okay. Let's see what he wants to do, goes up to three. Pretty good play there from the opponent. We got Blood Moon would still be good. Um, what we got here? Mantis Rider. Okay, Mantis Rider. We're gonna have to kill that with the um, with the Chandra. Can't let that live. Hopefully, he doesn't have another one here. He probably does. Oh, Kudro. We can still kill it. We can still kill the, the Mantis Rider. So that's what we're going to have to do. That is a big fucking Mantis Rider. That's a 7-7 seven, seven Mantis Rider coming in hot. Um, not easy here, but yeah, we got to use the Chandra. Still probably dead. Interesting. I've never seen someone deploy this strategy before. Cracking lands before they even draw in the upkeep. So he's not going to attack. I think he's just attacking with Kudro. That's what I would assume he's going to do. Because if he attacks with the Hierarchs, I'll block Kudro with the Elemental and then and then block one of the Hierarchs with the Season Pyro. All of this is coming at Chandra? Okay. Well, I could, I mean, depends what he's got here. He's got two cards in hand. So he can have, not obviously it's not a Mantis Rider. Could be a Reflector Mage. Could be another Kudro, even though this one would die. Is this what I'm up to here? Maybe I need to double block that Meddling Mage. Yeah, let, let's double block this meddling mage. Just in case I draw anger. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, never mind. And then he gets to eat my season pyro. Okay, well I was so severely outplayed there. Wooded foothills. Oh, the excitement. Oh, the excitement. Oh, blood raid. Clothis. I guess.
It was actually still probably okay to kill that. Sup, Legend? Uh, oh, I'm just dead here, right? Three, six, nine. Yep. Uh, so far, the record today is three and two. I finished that last league um, three and two. I, I lost game. I lost match five from the league yesterday. Today, I started this league three and zero. Oh, so I won three in a row. And then I lost uh, Hammer Time. I've never seen Hammer Time kill so fast. The guy. Here's an amazing song. You can't post links in my chat. You'll have to tell me what the song is. The guy had three colossal hammers. The equip, the enchantment that auto equips for zero, and a zero mana memnite. He killed me on like turn fucking like three or four. I've never been killed that fast by hammer time. All right, let's try this again. What's that horn song you post in the Discord, Guano? I remember. I, I listened to that the, with the album covers, like the dude fucking hugging the horn. Fuck, I hate this shit. No, I don't have any trolls. I hope not. Maybe. <sighs> Fuck. This hand is also bad. Yeah, I mean, the closest thing I have to Trolls is uh, Regret by New Order. New World Order, NWO, WCW. <sighs> I hate mulliganing, but I hate keeping something like this. It's too slow for humans. Probably. You probably are. See, this is horrible. I'm going to four. That's actually keepable if he has a fucking... That's actually a lot of removal here. So... Fuck. <laughs> so, obviously keeping Sprawl on the land. Regret by New Order. I'll have to look that up. Uh, keeping a Sprawl on the land. Keep another land to guarantee I can cast the Bone Crusher Giant. So definitely one land's going. Got to get rid of two more. Oh, God. If they have... If they plan on winning through this, I need to keep this. Right? So I'd have to put... How, one, two, three, four. I guess I can put these two on the bottom. I guess. Pretty rough. No, I, I don't really have any mods. I, I am the mod. Like that. Like Judge Dredd, I am the law. I am the mod. Uh, yeah, we'll just do it like that. I hate doing this, but what we got to do. Yeah, well, I didn't keep my lands. I should have, but I'm running off the hope that this guy is trying to win with uh, with Aether Vial again. We'll just see. All right, there's hope. Ha ha! Look at that. It's another land. I wouldn't be able to handle the power. Fuck. Of course he has a kite. The only time he's shown kite cell, he actually has something to take. God damn it. Power of Grayskull. I like the original He-Man. Then they made like a early 90s He-Man that I didn't like. And then... Uh, and then they had one in the 2000s I really liked. I was like a teenager when it came out. The one in the 2000s, like 2003 or something. It was pretty good. I like the 80s movie as well with Dolph Lundgren. 
I thought that movie was pretty legit. Okay, here comes the, the Reflector Mage for the Collector Oof. Thalia's Lieutenant. We're pretty close to being dead here. Probably. Well, I put all my lands on the bottom, and it seems to be all I can draw right now are lands. So, this is exciting. We're going to die to these this Champion and the Thalia's Lieutenant. Oh my god. The one time this motherfucker plays Kite Cell Freebooter, he eats my lightning bolt. The one goddamn time. What is this? Yeah, here, here it comes. There it is, Reflector Mage. You can't beat this human deck sometimes. Like, I know I play it, and there's just times where you just, you feel invincible with humans. You just, you're not going to lose. Oh, you're right. You, that's absolutely right. Courtney Cox's first... And now he's going to name Collector Oof. The old 1-2 there. That's a shit ton of damage. 3, 8, 10 damage. Uh, oh, he names Lightning Bolt. I can't even, I can't even do that. Yeah, I can't even I can't even cast it, so we're just dead. Block here. Uh, yep. God damn, dude. Just got my ass absolutely butt raped by humans there. My ass is just so fucking sore from that fucking game. I'm mulligan down to four. Throwing all the lands on the bottom, hoping that the collector oof and the bolt would be strong enough just to maybe find another land. And then and then uh Let's Cringer go free. You know, one day... No, I have not seen that robot chicken. Um, the You know, one day at work, I spent about an hour trying to remember fucking He-Man's cat's name. I was like, God damn, it's Battle Cat when he's like... When he transforms, but... What the hell is its name when it's just a scared green fucking tiger? I could not remember. And then just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I was like, Oh, fuck, it's Cringer. Is it spelled with a K? I thought it was a C. Dinosaurs? Is there a dinosaur deck going around right now in modern? I remember when that was the rage and standard. With that Ixalan garbage. All right, guys. I think that's going to do it for today. Um, I guess I could play one more, right? What the hell? Why not? Fucking Friday. Still good records, though. 3-2-3-2. Three, two, three, two. I mean, you can't bitch too much. Just mm. uh, Me and Guano, I think, are the last guys left playing Pillage in the main. And I love the Pillage. Pillage is really fucking good. Like, I play against so many decks where if I didn't have Pillage in the main, I'd be at such a disadvantage. Like, I play against Tron all the time. I watched uh, Guano. He played against Tron twice in a row. I played against Tron twice in a, low, a row, like, a week ago. Oh, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. From dinosaurs. Even the smallest of dinosaurs. Like the two, like in Jurassic Park 2, what was that? The Lost World. The little dinosaurs are like that big. And they kill that one guy. Because um, he falls down that ravine. Uh, <laughs> um, that movie's kind of rough. The second Jurassic Park. Been a mulligan. If there was a two drop in here, I'd keep. You know, but I'll mulligan. It's the same exact hand except a blood ray elf has shown up. I think we go to five. I mean, I was having fun until now. This is our five. We keep it. Put on bottom. Put both oozes on bottom. I should have kept that seven. I still would have had seven cards in hand. Yeah, there really isn't. I didn't see the newest Jurassic Park. I guess it was like, I didn't like the new Jurassic World. 
Uh, I did see that one. I thought it was pretty dumb. Um, this is going to be grand when you get thought seized here. Um, uh, I didn't really like it. Like, I thought it was too cheesy and too corny. <laughs> you know, it just really was. Probably Death Shadow, probably Rakdos Prowess or something. Oh, yeah. SPCA. What the hell is that? SPCA? Fine performance from Ponza here in the last, uh, you know, couple of games. Oh, it's Jund? Okay, maybe it's just straight up regular Jund. Might be. Good lord, if I can draw a land right here. Land. 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 Ah! God damn it! <laughs> Fuck! I guess we play it. I mean, what the fuck? Why not? Try and ultimate this thing for no reason. SPCA, is that like chips or something? It's gonna bolt it? Okay, whatever. God, we had a chance. We had a chance. He tried to bolt it and it died. I think that's what he tried to do. I think when he saw it was plusing, was that three? He tried to bolt it and see if it just fell in the grave. No, the whole ch the whole chain or whatever we call it, the stacks got a result. Don't get a basic, dude. Drop another. Yes. Let us start the land chant again. This time with vigor. Animal abuse. Oh, I thought that was like PETA. Flame jab. Huh? Why is there a flame jab here? I'm sure... I believe you as a joke. Alright, come on. Let's get this chant going. This tribal guttural chant. Land. 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 God damn it! Ugh. The shame. The absolute shame. If he thought sees away this blood moon, I'm gonna be really pissed off. Baron more cycling, sure. Is this god damn dude I'm not mad at the opponent I'm mad at my fucking deck sure wait he didn't take the blood moon I guess because he's getting this bloodstained mire he didn't play a land this turn Yeah, I've never heard of SPCA. If you would have said PETA, I would have been like, all, I would have been like, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, hopefully PETA doesn't get involved. But SPCA, that must have been, is that like some sort of California PETA or what? All right, I mean, land would still be good here. Land, 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 land. <sighs> God damn. Well, we've gone into turn five, four draw phases for me, and unable to find that second land. Bloodbraid? Yep. What a joke. You know, I hate fucking mulligans. I should have just kept that seven card hand, 
you know, I start playing, I start having really bad shit. Yeah, you gotta, yeah, do Assassin's Trophy that. I'll be down to one land. You need to Assassin's Trophy that. Um, he doesn't do it. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> Why? I'd be down one mana. Land? But, uh, Pam Anderson, what, is she, what does she have to do with this? Huh? Yeah, they are a legend, for sure. Five draw phases, can't find a single land. Maybe that's why he did an Assassin's Trophy. Maybe he just said, you know, fuck it. He's not going to draw. If I, if I destroy... Yeah, I still, have two, I still have two mana, so I don't know what the problem was there. Thoughtseize? No. Liliana? Liliana? Okay. That's an easy one here. You get to toss Pillage out. I haven't heard about Pam Anderson in a long time. Didn't she get married for like a day? I think that's the last thing I heard about her. Yep, now she's an old lady. She's like as old as my parents. I remember watching Barbed Wire, though. When I was like 14. It was pretty exciting to me back then. <laughs> uh, pretty bad movie, though. What was the one that... Uh, I can never remember the gal's name. Oh, look at that. I stole it even at her age now. She doesn't look bad. I, I mean, I, I know I've seen her in the last couple of years, and she looked all right. Let's play this poor Arbor Elf to be sacrificed, this Liliana. You're right. She was. She was the face of PETA. But that was a long time ago, I think. I'm trying to bring up these old-ass references to PETA with Pam Anderson. Like, when I think of Pam Anderson, I do not think of PETA first. I generally think of, like, Baywatch... Playboy, Barbed Wire. I'll take the three here if he wants to keep my Arbor Elf alive. But I know that's not going to happen. I don't know. I never really looked at Pam Anderson like that. I mean, I had never seen her nude, I guess I should say. Yeah, I don't think I have. Now I'm thinking about it, I don't think I've ever seen her like that. Blood Moon is still amazingly good here. So I'm going to keep it. There's no way I can possibly play anything else. Holy crap, I drew another land. Let's play it. What is the gal that was on MTV that had her own movie before Barbed Wire that married that old Texas tycoon? Flame Jab? Sure. So this Liliana's going to ultimate unless I find something. Probably another land now. Oh my god, is a season pyro? Holy shit. Land bolt. Close. Well, that was a waste of fucking time. <laughs> Good lord. That's why I don't fucking uh, ever fucking mulligan. I just, I just refuse. I'm like, nope. This hand still works. You know, Let's take out these uh, pillages and a blood moon. Bring in the Bayloth. At least two relics. Would be another one to take out. I don't really think I want to take out. Do I want to take out another blood moon? Probably not. I think that's good. I mean, another relic would be okay. Nah, I'll do 
do at this point. Mitch Trubisky, wasn't he the quarterback of, like, Chicago? Is that, that, that name sounds familiar. So that, another fine mulligan. Definitely can't keep that. Definitely keep that, though. That's an easy bottom there. Why? What's going on? Do I want to know? All right, just for your amusement, I'm going to look this up. I'll let you know how mad I get. You'll, you'll see. Now I'm curious. Mitch Trubisky. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, he's being honest, it looks like. I get what you're saying. <laughs> he said that all the way back in 2011. <laughs> nice. <laughs> he's not the quarterback for the Bears anymore, right? They got uh, Nick Foles. Nick Foles won that Super Bowl, and uh, everyone thought he was fucking, like, amazing. And then he went to Jacksonville and didn't do shit, and Jacksonville was bad again. And now he's in, uh... oh, my Arbor Elf. Poor innocent creature. He's on the bench injured. Okay, well, here we go. More problems, it looks like, coming up. I'll play the scavenging ooze just to get a creature out there. Uh, but right now, I need another source of mana. Putting the Clothis on the field against Jund is super good. They have nothing in the game that can deal with it. Nothing. Unless somehow they play Dismember, it becomes a creature, I guess. But I haven't seen Jund play Dismember in forever. Thought sees Fatal Push. Fatal Push. This is not going my way. Did people just find that tweet he made from 2011? Is this an old recurring joke? Fuck, come on, deck. Good God, these last two matches have been horrible. It's been ass. Yeah, they, they really haven't, the Bears. They had that one guy, Cutler. They were really into Cutler there for a while. Liana. Thoughtseize. Probably need to take the Clothis. I would if I were him. Might take the Season Pyro. But... Uh, Clothes is probably the toughest card. Yep. Plus, it makes the Goyf massive as a creature and enchantment. Raven's Crime. I get to pick here. So, I guess one of the Blood Braids. The Retrace Jund. Kind of like it. All right, land. Yeah, we did it. Land. Land. Sucks throwing my blood braid off, but whatever. You do what you gotta do. Okay. Those are alright. Not stable. Cutler. Cutler was a quarterback for a long time there. Probably another, yeah, retrace. Okay, I'll get rid of this sprawl. Still alive in this game, just barely. It's only got two cards in hand. It can't be a Blood Braid Elf. Could be a Liliana, which would be really strong. Doesn't get a basic swamp. 
Very interesting. Season Pyro. Okay. That's pretty good. Is Jameis Winston still playing? Experimental Frenzy. Wow. I really like Scavenging Ooze, so I'm not going to toss him. I'll eat that Raven's Crime, though. He is? He must be third string. Because they play that Tyler Hill, don't they? Or maybe maybe you guys are right. Man, I, th I think I'm thinking now that I did see him playing for a little bit. He took some knees for Drew Brees. This is a weird Jun deck. <sighs> there goes my season pyro. Oh, sacrifice a creature? Sure. That was dumb. Yeah, lots of mulligans. Uh, it's not really... It's mulligans combined with the fact that I mulligan and then um, I don't get any lands. Like, I've been struggling forever to get lands here. Like that, you know. I mean, that's not a bad draw. I think we do have to kill that Liliana. And he cycled? Okay. Yeah, he's got to kill Lily. That's way too good to be on the field. Arbor Elf. Let's eat Clothis. And let's swing in here. Big Ooze rumbling in. It's a 4 4. It can survive a bolt, but it can't survive a damn push. Goyf will have to eat the uh, Liliana and a lot of stuff. There's the push, of course. <laughs> Way ahead, Iguano. That's what happened, and I knew there was a push coming. So this must be three mana here. Colligan's command. God damn, that's strong. Fuck. Jesus Christ. Well, I can play a Bloodbraid Elf now. That's good. Or a Chandra. Or a Questing Beast. Probably get a top deck of Glorybringer, though. That's real bad. So am I going to finish today after losing this one? Three and three? Fuck, I shouldn't have played this one. I could have fin- no. Yeah. Right? No, I'm going to finish like three and fucking four. God damn it. Oh well. Yeah, yeah. We probably are. It's usually about a minute. I don't have it- I don't have a buffer on or nothing, but- that's just how it goes. I think about the fastest you can have is probably like 30 second delay. I know when I watch you, it's probably at least a minute. I know sometimes I post something and I wait for it to show up on your like chat thing. And it sometimes it takes like upwards of two minutes. Usually about a minute. Uh, yeah, I just got to say no here. And uh, yell fuck as I slowly die. These are long games. Where nobody can really do any significant damage. I'm just always behind here. As soon as he finds like a Raging Ravine, it's over. Probably. Or a Bloodbraid Elf. Even another Liliana is probably game over. 
He has all of his basics that they normally run. Kroxa, that's almost over. So I'm down to six, and Kroxa's gonna escape. You have to try and eat it. I do have relics for Jenison. Oh, God. I think I'm dead. This has been just a waste of fucking time, this match. I have not gotten nothing to work. I mean, nothing. I place additional forest. Huh. I'll go down to three. I have to block and block. Um, man. I have nothing that can kill this now. So the game is completely over. You should just have a lightning bolt. That's what he needs to do, is just have a lightning bolt. He's trying to stay alive. I don't think there's any way possible to stay alive here. Uh, just the Renin 6 pinging alone is enough to kill me. Yes! Another basic forest, back to back. That's what you like seeing right there, folks. That's when you know your deck says, go fuck yourself. That's what it means. But overall, a good day. Just uh, the deck here is petered out. It just, the deck, it was having fun. It won three matches in a row there for a little bit. It, it was having its day, and then I pushed a little too far. I should have gave up and just said, uh, that's enough. Probably Coggins Command right here to finish me off. No, Bloodbraid Elf. Experimental Frenzy. Sure. It's pretty fucking good. Oh, I just dead to this stupid Croxa. Yep. Okay. All right, that was a waste of a match. I literally did nothing in the entire match. I did not do a goddamn thing the entire match. The entire match there, both games, and they took a long time to play, and, like, literally nothing happened. Like, literally jack shit from my side. Just, like, just mulligan into garbage. And then game two, mulligan again would keep an okay hand and then just get fucking destroyed... Because the opponent has such a good hand. And then I can't draw another land. Remember, I needed I needed another land for the longest time. And I can't believe I actually lived that long. Uh, really, really, really bad showing by the deck there. And those last two matches with humans and uh, John. Just terrible performance from the deck. I uh, hope nobody studies that part of the video. And, you know, uses that as a why Bonza struggles. Because the first, well, I lost the first match today, but the, the, the I went 3-0 in this, the, the second league. And it, the deck was just going berserk. I mean, it was just killing everything. And then uh, we ran to a brick wall. Uh, the, the Hammer Time guy was, that was the most insane shit I've ever seen in my life from that deck. I don't think I'll ever, ever see something more crazy than that from Hammer Time with triple colossal hammer on turn three like that's fucking insane dude like what the fuck turn one memnite turn two enchantment turn three um colossal hammer colossal hammer colossal hammer what the fuck huh just they just win right away and i was trying to kill that memnite that actually didn't work that way 
It was, I went to, we used Glorybringer. I had to keep a really bad hand, but somehow I was able to get Glorybringer out on turn three. I swung with Glorybringer, tried to exert on the Memnite, and the guy flashed in a fucking Colossal Hammer. He had one. And then, so I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to take 11 damage. I got one more turn. I was fucking wrong. He had two more Colossal Hammers. So it was just a 31-31 Memnite attacking me. Uh, I mean, I... What was I supposed to do to that? I mean, well, I guess play the Glorybringer and just block? That don't make any sense, right? You don't block with Glorybringer against a Memnite. That's ridiculous. Uh, and then humans... I think I easily won game one, so I was feeling pretty good in that match, and then it just got fucking wrecked. Just the deck... The deck really just... It took a shit on itself. It's wiping the diarrhea off of its fucking, like, back of its thighs. You know? It's pretty rough. But overall, what I do today, three and four, I think. But it really isn't that bad considering those two leagues. I went three and two. And this is a brand new league. I'm 0 and 1. And hopefully I can win three of the next four, at least two of the next four to get some money back. Um, so anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Really appreciate it. That's going to do it for today. I will be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time for an extended three-hour Ponza stream. I will have a red Mountain Dew. I will have a code red. Uh, I enjoy having the code reds on Saturdays when I stream. First Saturday stream I think I've had in about two weeks, maybe three weeks. It's been a while since I've done it. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I uh, hope you are too. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, please consider subscribing and give a thumbs up, I guess. Um, I like special shout-outs to Guano Maestro, the Legend of Steen, and the Nightbot for keeping me company today. I really appreciate that. And uh, special shout outs to anybody who is currently following or subscribing on YouTube. Uh, or not. I mean, thanks for anybody watching. And I'd like to remind everybody, stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, and social distance if possible. And like I said, I'll be back tomorrow at 3 p.m. Pacific time. So everybody, stay safe. Uh, have fun. Do whatever you do. Go play that Nintendo Switch. Go eat a little bit of corn on the cob. Whatever whatever makes you happy. All right, guys. I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace.